Hey there! Today I'm going to show you in this video how to install these 3D printed shells into a case. So this is the Q C right here. Um, and then normally to attach this top plate to the bottom plate, you use this pack of standoffs that comes with the F4 kit and then add those in, screw it all on. Uh, but on GitHub, uh, what I've got are these files to create an enclosed case. So we've got a middle layer here printed as well as a top, what I call a top shell. I don't really know if there's a common terminology for these things. So I call this top shell and mid layer or middle layer. And uh, the benefit of these is it's going to cover up these F44 plates for a much more seamless look. So I'll show you how to install these. Um, so first of all, when 3D printing these, uh, I normally go for a layer height of 0.2 millimeters or 0.3 will work sometimes as well. Um, you know, nothing too fancy. Um, one thing I recommend you turning off is ironing. So if you do ironing on here, these top surfaces, uh, you can run into heat creep, which causes your extruder to jam up. So if uh, you're printing these or having somebody else print them, I'd recommend that ironing gets turned off um, so you don't deal with these kind of issues. Next thing you'll need is, you know, since we're not using these screws and standoffs, you're going to need longer screws. So uh, for the Q4C, you're going to need 16 millimeter screws. Uh, these are M2 screws. Uh, I do have them on the store website. Uh, here we just need eight for each half. Um, last thing I want to note for these top shells is um, before going through this installation process, make sure you can thread these screws into the um, top shell because sometimes uh, the hole might not print large enough for you to put the screws in. Um, since we're not using heat inserts here, um, you know, I, I'd feel comfortable with threading the screws directly into here a few times. I wouldn't play around with it too much more than that. All right, so here we go. Um, first thing we'll do is we'll install the top shell over the switch plate here. Uh, as you'll see, this particular top shell here has a cutout for the encoder to surround it completely. Uh, there's also another version that doesn't have this encoder surrounding here uh, if you're not using an encoder there and just have a regular switch there. So I've got this on here, and then the next thing I'm going to do is put this middle layer on. Now you may note that these holes are large enough to insert standoffs through, but they're not required. And afterwards we'll stick this bottom plate on. So before I screw this in, if you look at the sides here, you can kind of see that you're not going to be able to see the F44 plates as uh, both the top shell and the middle there have this lip on the edge to kind of cover all this stuff up. So next, we'll insert these screws in. So this will go all the way in from the bottom into the top shell. Screw those in. Now for the first time screwing these in, uh, it may take a lot more effort since you're basically tapping the threads into the top shell, whereas here I've already done this a few times, so they're a little bit looser and more accepting of a uh, screw. There you have it. All screwed in. Everything like these USB C ports are now covered up. Just make sure there's no weird misalignments or gaps. But there you go.